Good morning, welcome back to the Budget Adventure Kitchen. Today, an oldie, a classic. Bacon and eggs once again, but we're gonna do it another way. Um, Coles have these little frying pans, they're $7. They're perfect for making little omelet sized things without needing your egg rings and that sort of stuff. One or two eggs in there and they go down pretty good. Um, one new thing I've been trying out, there's nothing worse than taking a dozen eggs with you or how many eggs you want for a camping trip and having broken ones, um, soggy, soggy container, all that sort of stuff. You can get the plastic cases to put them in, which I've done before, but nine times out of 10, your big eggs don't fit in there. <laughs> the Rocky milkshake. Um, it's just your shaker container. I've got eight eggs in here, plus a bit of milk and um, some pepper, salt and some chives for uh, flavoring. But that in your fridge, that takes up a lot less space than an egg carton and your milk. Um, and it's just fantastic, especially on the bike and that way you know you're gonna be doing the rough stuff. So granted, if you wanted sunny side up eggs and or fried eggs and that sort of thing, this wouldn't work. But at the end of the day, an egg's an egg, it's gonna come out <laughs> the same anyway at the end of the day. So a bit of that pepper off the bottom. Shake, shake, shake. And we're up here for a couple of days, hence eight eggs. Um, there's no reason why I just couldn't keep in the fridge for four or five days. Um, even though the eggs have been cracked, so we'll get some gas on. Light her up. Magic. Um, a little bit of oil. Now the first problem's come up. The handle of these little pans is heavier than the pan itself, so it's not going to sit straight, but um, we've got here. Uh, so just again, pre-chopped up some bacon. I'm not dirty in chopping boards or anything else, especially in the morning when you don't want to get your hands wet. Spatula. These little spoons, as you've seen last video with the um, hiking meal, good little spatula for little pants. It's not, it's not all flat, but it gets in there and gets the, um, the egg moving around anyway. Because it's a little pan, nine times out of ten, you're not going to be able to turn the turn the element down enough. I haven't done on the jet ball yet, it's probably going to be even worse. Too much heat straight up, so. Like anything when you're cooking, don't leave it. Keep an eye on it. If it does get a bit too hot too quick or start spitting oil like it is, you can just pull it off the heat. And the oil's going to keep cooking for a few minutes afterwards anyway. This already even ahead of time. There, there. While that's cooking, I've got me folding toaster. I'm gonna have on the other one. Spits bit. <laughs> I just gave this over good steam clean because of all the fat and oil on it. Looks like it's going to come back again. So that's that bit done. Get our egg mixture. You don't want a lot. So it's going into a roll so you just want sort of a hamburger size bit of egg in there. Anything bigger it just gets too hard to flip. So. Clean him off. 
so our rolls. Went to the bakery yesterday, got eight nice, nice white, fresh rolls. Again, being bakery ones, they're probably not gonna last as long as what your um your mass produced ones will, but when you're gonna toast them, it's not gonna really matter. You don't want your roll toasted. Oh, she doesn't want to roll toasted. So I'll turn that one off then. Radio. So as you'll see, it starts cooking around the outside. Most of the time, if you go too big, you have too much runny egg in the middle. Um, sometimes you just need to leave that a little bit longer. Being a little non-stick pan. You should be able to see it's floating around there now, so that stack can cook cook a bit longer. Um, unless you go real hot with the heat, that's pretty hard to burn burn the shit out of eggs. Now like I said if it is too hot, if you can't turn the element down enough, just pour it off the um, top of the stove and give it a minute to cool down. Sometimes too, if you do have a bit of that excess on top. So sort I of just pick the corner up, tip it over and let it spill underneath. Probably can't even see that. And then that egg will run underneath and start cooking as well. So it just adds a new layer underneath it. Um, got some pre-sliced cheese, tasty cheese to go on there as well. Probably shouldn't have put that there. No, that's not too bad. Yeah, so that's just about ready for the flip. Then the fun begins. Oh yeah, time for the flip. Normally the easiest way to flip eggs in a pan like this is get your spatula under it. As you can see, it's sliding nice. Get it under there so you've got a bit of a lever to help. And just like that. So normally once you flip it, Give it a few seconds. Try to put some cheese on while I'm waiting. That way it starts to melt in the hot pan. Egg doesn't take a hell of a lot of time to cook, so nine times out of ten, once it flips, especially with bigger pans, a little one might be a bit different, but um, with bigger pans, once once you flip it, there's enough heat in that pan to um, finish the cooking process, so... It'd be handy if you had a little lid to put on it just to get that cheese to melt a bit more, but when I put it in the bun, I'll put it upside down so you've got the heat of the uh, omelette and the egg pushing down on the cheese. So... We're just about ready here. Ready for breaky little one? Mm hmm What about you, Roxy? She's falling asleep. <laughs> Alright. So, pretty much done. I'm going to grab our roll. Easiest way to do this, roll in, upside down, out. Like that. Big old egg and bacon, omelette, burger, roll, tasty thing. <laughs> so, I'm going to this. Mmm. Mmm. This is my number one way of cooking brekkie on the bike. Quick, easy. <clears throat> As I said, you can take all the ingredients in one container and, um, yeah, yum yum.